Hey everybody, Temptation2003 here. Uh, I just want to show you how to basically take a ramp, like an ATV or a dirt bike ramp, basically an ATV ramp, and convert it so you can use it for loading snowmobiles as well. So, got my ramp here, and you can see these pieces weren't on it. Neither are the other two over there. They're just, I just got them sitting there. but. I use that for loading the dirt bike. Well, I kind of want to use it for loading the uh, sled now. So what I did, I picked up some of this material, a um, couple different thicknesses here, but this one's a real heavy one, but it's ribbed and stuff, you know? So that way for your carbides to ride on. And this stuff here is a little bit thinner. <coughs> but I went ahead and I notched this one out already. I just measured it and took a grinder to it and notched it out so it fits up here on the top by where this uh, hooks on to your tailgate. So that way it fits right around this piece here. So when your carbide goes up here, it won't really hit this aluminum at all. So I'll just go ahead and cut out both sides. Um, hopefully you have pieces that are long enough to go the whole length. I didn't, so that's why I had to cut another piece for this and they only had two of these little pieces they didn't have three of them so I ended up having to go with the heavier one but I figured I'd put the heavier one on the bottom because that's where your uh, carbides are gonna hit first so once you get it done laid out and everything like this then we're gonna go ahead and mark our holes actually I'm gonna drill probably two holes one down here and one up there and then bolt them in with uh, carriage bolts um, hold on there's a carriage bolt in case you don't know it's got the rounded top so if your skis happen to hit it it's not going to matter but i'm going to bolt it in with them and then after i do that i'm going to go ahead and drill my other holes and get everything bolted down all right, so as you can see, I drilled one hole, put the carriage bolt through, put the uh, nut and washer on the bottom side, and then I drilled this hole here and did the same thing. Put the uh, nut and washer in on the bottom side. And then now that that secured it, having one in this corner, one in that corner, now I'm gonna go ahead and drill, drill out the rest of them. So I'll put one here, and then maybe do one about here and then another one about there. So I'm gonna try and get about five on each side. So, yep, just drill holes and bolt her up and we should be good. All right, so I got one half of it, uh, all the holes drilled. Got the bolts set in, but they're not tightened down yet. Um, and when, you want, when you're want when you drilling them, especially on these cross pieces, try and stay right square in the middle of them, like I was doing. Make sure you're in the middle. And then on uh, on this wide side part here, this is actually really wide, but you have this aluminum bar going here, so you gotta make sure you drill straight down in between. Don't hit uh, the brace in the middle here. So like I said, I still gotta tighten all them up. And I still gotta do this side here. And then once I'm done, then I'll uh, tighten everything down. And then I'll grind off the bottom. Uh, well, maybe not. I was thinking of grinding off the bottom plastic flush with the aluminum. I think I'll leave it overhang just a little bit. But I will grind the back of the uh, the bolts off because they're a little bit long. So, all right, I gotta get the other side done, and then I'll start tightening everything up. And the Mr. Hero heater works very good. It's like 20 below out right now and I'm nice and toasty in the garage. Anyways, yeah, so I'm just using a gear wrench for the backside for the nut. Tighten that. And then I'm using a uh, needle nose pliers to hold on to the carriage bolt that I had on that. So this here is the carriage bolt. And I'm just grabbing onto it with the needle nose pliers like this and holding it so it doesn't spin while I tighten the knot on the back side. So 
do that for each and every one of them, tighten them all up. And then we'll just trim it up and we'll go from there. Alright, the next step that I was doing was grinding the ends of the bolts off. I ground all these, this whole side. I did all of these already. So they're all ground off, you can see they're all pretty close. Pretty close to the nut. Like this one too. Um, and then here's the other side that I haven't done yet. So if you're grinding them off, just use a grinding wheel. And then uh, wear safety glasses, make sure you don't get any metal in your eyes. That would suck. So, yeah. Other than that, that's it. And the ramp will be done. Ramp's all finished. Should look uh, should look pretty nice. I would, I think. So. Here's the actual ramp there. Like, so now it's uh, dual purpose. I can use it for. The, Either BMW, dirt bike, crotch rocket, or a snowmobile. So now we have a dual purpose ramp. Alright, thanks guys for checking out my channel. Thanks for watching the video, I appreciate it, and you guys have a good one.